Mark Ray Mundy for MMAfighting.com with Jason Prillo, coach for Tito Ortiz, who fights Chuck Liddell on November 24th at the Forum in Inglewood. We're at Chuck versus Tito open workouts at King's MMA in West Hollywood. Jason, health has always been a question about Tito. When he's healthy, he's always been one of the, one of the best ever. How is the health so far in this camp? It's, it's, it's held up. It's great. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's always a concern of mine as well because I know of all his surgeries. And, he, of course, Tito lets everybody know about his surgeries because he's had quite a bit of them with his back and his neck and whatnot. Um, so it's always a concern of mine, especially when it comes to sparring because that's where, really, where the injuries usually happen. But, fuck, he's been holding up, man. He really has. He's been going at it harder than I've probably ever seen him. Ever since I was with him, I, he's really hungry and determined for this fight. I got him in there with some young monsters that are going at him, and uh, he's fighting his ass off, and he's staying healthy. Tito fought in January 2017 against Chael Sonnen. He called it a career at that point. He said he was retired. Now he's back to fight Chuck Liddell. When, what is the conversation like when Tito comes to you and says, Coach, coming back from one more, it's Chuck Liddell. What, what is your reaction? I say, just when I thought I was out, they bring me back in. <laughs> no, um, yeah, you know, I, that's a fight that I've always wanted for Tito again. You know, I, it, it, a redemption fight to, 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 to get back, to try to get back a, a W, you know, to your biggest loss, really, your, your biggest opponent loss, really. I mean, him and, him and uh, Chuck were such rivals for so long, and, and I, I know the facts that he fell short in those fights really eat at him, and I think it's really important for him to redeem himself psychologically. He'll just feel really great about himself in the future after he beats Chuck. But, you know, when he comes to me and asks me, hey, man, yeah, I'm going to support my fighter. Always, I was in full support of his retirement. He went out right. on his own terms. Yeah. He beat a high-level fighter in Chael Sonnen. It was, it was a beautiful victory, and it was a poetic way to leave the game. You know, but at the end of the day, He's got one more shot to go in there and, and really redeem himself and really get the biggest win of his life. You know, I, I, I got his back 100%. Tito is in his 40s, and, and he's really done everything that one can do in mixed martial arts for the most part. He's one of the best ever. What What is his motivation level like for this fight? Because it seems like he's very motivated, just singularity, singularly fighting Chuck Liddell. What is the motivation level like for, for him at this stage? I could. I almost answered it in the last question, and I'm going to tell you the same way. I mean, he's 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 hungry. He's training like a 20-year-old kid. You know, he's in there with kids in their 20s, man, that are beasts. And they're going at him, and he's hungry. And he shows up, and he, he he doesn't. Even if he is feeling a little sore, a little hurt, you know, he it's not letting it get to him. He's he's showing up. He's doing what he needs to do. I mean, really, I haven't seen him this hungry ever. You know, it, it, and I know when he was younger and we weren't together, I'm, I'm sure that's where he was at then and that's when he was performing his best. I think he's at the same frame of mind now. And I think that, uh, I think this is the biggest fight of his life and he really believes that. And I think the two year break was actually good for him. You know, we gotta remember, Chuck's coming off a seven or eight or nine year break maybe, you know, so um, he's hungry. He's determined, he really wants this. He's training like a child. And, and about Chuck, it's, it's kind of fascinating because we haven't seen him fight in eight years when he was at his best Again, he's one of the best ever, but not having any information about where he is over the last eight years as far as training and, and shape and, and physical ability, how do you game plan and how do you, how do you train for a guy like that? Well, that makes it tough. You know, we're basically, we're, tra we're, we're training for uh, the Chuck Liddell that fought Tito back in the day. You know, that's the guy we're training for. I know that he puts out some of it. You know, you, we see a little training footage, and some of it looks a little hoaxy, in my opinion. Sometimes I think I think he's playing a little bit of possum. Really? You know, but, or maybe he's going full board. Either way, uh, Chuck's a fighter. You know, he, he, Chuck was, not that he's not an athletic man, not that he's not, you know, he's strong, but he's a fighter. But that guy's got a fighter mentality and he goes at you and he tries to kick your ass, you know, and that's the guy that we're getting ready for. You know, do we think that he's added some tricks and some tools to his, to his, to his uh, bag of tricks there? I don't know. You know, how much can he really add? I mean, he hasn't, you know, he, if there is such thing as ring rust, which some people believe and some people don't, you know, my guess he's going to feel a little bit of it. And with the age, I don't know how the, I don't know how the skin and it's going to hold up, and, and how this is going to hold up. Because I know that he's been hurt, you know, quite a few times in his last couple fights before he's come back. You know, so, you know, we'll see. We're just training for the best Chuck Liddell that we've ever seen. When you say hoaxy, what do you mean? But do you think he's trying to pull a fast one and maybe not showing the full the full arsenal? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I think I mean a little bit, you know, but. It, Either way, you know, either way, like I said, he's a fighter. Even if he, even if it is looks hoaxy, and maybe it's not. Maybe that's him at full speed and in full caliber. 
you know, but at the end of the day, he's still that Chuck Liddell, that mentally tough son of a bitch that's strong and, and likes to fight and he's gonna go out there and try to kick your ass. Does Tito want to end this fight on the feet or does he want to take Chuck down? He wants to beat him anywhere that they're at. You know, he wants to, if, 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 he, if he can take him out on his feet, he'd love to do that. You know, if he, you know, he's healthy, like I said, so he's, he's in a position where he can put, put Chuck down on his back and do the old school ground and pound elbows on the face as well. So either way, he just wants to win. You know, and that's what's most important. I mean, we're going out there and looking, I want to knock him out with the right hand, or I want to go knock him out with the left hand, or kick him, or whatever. You know, that's not the idea. The idea is we're going to go out there, we're going to read what's going on, and we're going to take Chuck out of there. Last thing, Jason, you're working, of course, with Chris Cyborg ahead of her fight with Amanda Nunes at UFC 232 on December 29th, I believe, in Las Vegas. How is she looking? This is obviously, arguably, the biggest fight of her, of her career. It's uh, the bantamweight champion against the featherweight champion. How is Chris looking? Again, amazing. No, but she really is. You know, it's nice that it, all the fighters that I got I'm working right now are all in a good, good, good state of mind. These, these high-level, high-profile fights. Um, Chris is a beast, man. And, and one thing about Chris, Chris is she's always fight ready. Really, you know, it, when she says, you know, she goes, if you, when you, put it this way, when who's the last girl Chris fought? I'm sorry that you have to tell me that, but who is it? That the, the Russian girl, Kunitskaya. Kunitskaya. When she called me up from Brazil and said they want me to fight Kuniskaya in three weeks, she said, what do you think? Me and her laugh about this all this time. This might not be funny to you, but she says, what do you think? I said, Chris, you do cocaine, Chris? She goes, what? I said, you do cocaine? You drink? You smoke? What do you do? All you fucking do is train. That's all you fucking do. Of course we can fight this bitch in three weeks. Not bitch, sorry. But you know what I mean? Of course. That's all you do. That's all she does. She's always she's always going forward, man. And, 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 and she, she gets sharper and sharper and sharper. What I loved about that, about the last you know, nine months ago, she did fight that fight. And she fought the Holly Holmes fight. And they were, they were close yeah. to help her actually catapult a little bit forward and sharpen up. Um, but she's as sharp as she's ever going to be right now. She's going to continue to get sharper, and uh, I expect I expect her to, to really put it on Amanda Nunes. Is this the most challenging fight that Chris has had? Because home, different style, but Nunes is is you know bantamweight champion, and she has knockout power, great ground ground game, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Well, with the strength, with, with that type of strength that she has, you know, in that type of power, I think she's probably a little bit more heavy-handed than than Holly Holmes. But for me, Holly Holmes was always the toughest fight for us because of her movement. I think I think that movement, you know, in all her experience, I mean, Holly Holm had 30, 40 boxing fights, all her kickboxing fights. I mean, she had a tremendous amount of experience. So for me, I felt she was a really smart fighter with really good movement and good balance and threatening from a lot more areas, I think, than Amanda is as far as on the feet is concerned. But, um, yeah, I mean, every fight's your toughest challenge. Every, every next fight's your toughest challenge, and so is going to be. So we got to look at it like it's our toughest challenge. Um, but I like her style. Her style is right in front of Chris. You know, when you're right in front of Chris, it's not a place you want to be. If you can't move laterally or side to side and try to get the fuck out of there, you're going to be in trouble. Michael Bisping is like coming out of retirement, right? He's staying retired? Michael Bisping is staying retired. Yeah. He looks like he's in great shape. I say that about, you know how many of these conversations I've had about some of my guys retiring? I got the, I got the older guys, man. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, no, he's always in great shape. Mike, Mike trains. He still pops in the gym once, once a month, maybe twice. So it depends on his schedule. Cause he's tremendously busy, but uh, he's always in shape and uh, he likes to look good because he wants to be on camera. You know what I mean? But no, he's not fighting. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it, man. Good luck. Right on. Thank you.